Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Clearly, I got dressed and I ran a comb through my hair. I know it's a shock to humanity. I've been thinking about something lately uh, and thought I'd share it with you. Um, with all, okay. Anytime there's an incident or an occurrence or an attack or whatever, I think most people get hung up on, you know, what happened, um, who carried it out, uh, immediate kind of stuff. And I think a good way to kind of start looking at this stuff is basically who benefits from it or what changes afterward or what, what kind of changes do the le various leaders of the world try to implement after something unfolds as horrific as, say, the London attack or 9-11 or JFK assassination, so on and so forth, even Pearl Harbor, what have you. I think it's kind of interesting if you take the focus. Clearly, you have to acknowledge what happened or did it happen or was it a false flag or, you know, all that jazz. And I've been over the false flag with you. It doesn't mean it didn't ever happen. It means person A is accused of doing something that person B really carried out secretly. That's what the false flag is for a super brief rendition. Uh, yeah, so I think um, if you just start to think about who benefits from anything that happens, that it'll it sort of helps to clear things up a little bit. For example, after the 9-11, which I went over in my last video, um, soon thereafter that Patriot Act was rolled in, which really, you know, took away a lot of liberties for uh, United States people. It's like we get punished for the actions of... Um, some other actor it's you know it's not right it's wrong on every level uh the jfk murder after that unfolded if it unfolded ladies and gentlemen because you know there is that theory that we are living in a world of actors okay moving beyond that um after the jfk thing we escalate he had signed something i don't know the exact thing where he was fixing to draw back on the vietnam situation bring people you know not be as involved and then Really, I think it was the next day or something, Lyndon Johnson reversed that. And, you know, off we went. I think 58,000 people were killed there on our uh, our people, the American soldiers, if I'm not mistaken. So um, that's what I think people need to concentrate on is who benefits. Ask yourself, who benefits? Who benefits for this uh, due to this war of terror, as a lot of people call it, not on terror? I would have to say our good friends in the Middle East, our besties, Israel, would be quite the beneficiary of this, of these shenanigans. And not only, but don't take my word for it. You can go listen to our, to BB Netanyahu go on about how 9-11 was very helpful to the Israelis. He literally said that, ladies and gentlemen. You can see it on YouTube. These people are evil and hideous creatures over there. And so, uh, yeah, ask yourself, are they benefiting from this? Who benefits from these um, terror attacks that are just rolling out, like, uh, with, I don't know, with speed and agility as of late? I'm, my eyebrows are a little raised over that, see? I don't know what to think, say, or do, but I am going to ask myself, who benefits? Who benefits from uh, more crackdowns on the citizenry and controlling of the people and all that jazz. Okay, that's all. Uh, just something that came to mind. I thought, while my hair looks halfway decent, I would come at you. Because I'm very concerned about how I look on launching with Lisa, the video series that has me launching. While coming at you with thoughts of the day. See you soon.